So today we are going to discuss on the technical architecture of MDG. Uh, can someone confirm uh, uh, if you can see my screen? Yes, I can. I can see. Okay, great. Right. So uh, before getting into this architecture uh, uh, diagram, let me just explain a small concept over here. So in general, in MDG, okay, so this is your uh, uh, ERP, uh, ECC or S4 uh, uh, system. On top of that one, we activated MDG function. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay, so now, when you activate MDG functions, what happens is uh, in ECC layer, you already have the ERP tables, specific tables like Mara, MRC, LFA1, KNA1. So whatever the tables that are uh, specific, specifically created to store the respective master data, right? Uh, so these tables are already there because when you say this is an ERP system, automatically you will have these tables in the system. Okay, when, when you create a material, material data will get stored into some uh, multiple tables. Similarly, business partner data will get stored into BUT triple zero, BUT star tables. Okay, similarly, vendor master data gets stored into LFA1, LFB1. So, you already, your ERP layer by default, it comes with a set of tables where it will store your master data. Similarly, in MDG, when you activate a material specific business functions. So yesterday we saw that uh, uh, you will have the business function specific to material master, specific to business partner, then finance objects. So when you activate the respect to business functions, here also there certain tables will get created. Automatically it will get generated these tables when you activate the your application specific uh, business functions. Okay, so what we call these tables are basically these are MDG uh, 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 specific tables. We call these tables as a uh, you know, tables which will actually store the inactive records, temporary tables. These are your temporary tables. Okay, temporary tables in the sense table will be permanent, but uh, uh, the data that gets stored into this table will be uh, that will be temporarily in this particular table. Okay, so what happens? when user log into MDG system, okay? And uh, he'll open that UI application, material master UI application, and uh, he'll actually create one material. He'll submit the data. So once you submit the data, the data gets stored into this particular staging tables, staging area or staging, we call it as a staging area or tables, staging tables. Okay, so the data gets stored into this particular staging table. Now, this record actually uh, a typical MDG workflow will be something like this. A requester will submit the data. It goes to the approver and the approver will review and he'll submit the data. It goes to, let's say, for example, steward. And then finally, the record will get activated. Activated. Okay, so then what happens is, assume that he is a requester. This particular person is a requester. He Don't forget opens the your application, submits the data. So the data gets stored into the staging the table. Video. Now on the same staging record, this approver will log in and he will review the data. When approver opens the UI application, he will uh, he will get the data. The UI application will fetch the data from your staging table. He will review the data. And if there are any corrections are there, he will correct it or else finally he'll approve that request. Once he approve the request, the data will again, uh, it goes to the request will go to steward and steward will again, when steward opens that uh, your application for review, then he will see the data from the staging record only. And finally, once the steward uh, uh, approves that particular request, okay, so that time what happens is the record will move. The next step is the activation step. What happens exactly at the activation step means here the inactive record, the data that gets stored into your staging table, we call it as an inactive record. So this inactive record will turn, it will get activated. When I say activated means this particular record will be moved from your staging area to your active area. This area we call it Don't as a, your ERP your tables, we call it as an active area. Yourself with latest SAP okay. So this is staging area, this is active area. So 
at the finally at the final stage there will be an activation step that will be performed activation means the record from your staging table will be moved to the active area and the record that exists in the staging table will get deleted that's how you will have your final uh, finally approved record in your active area okay now this record will be replicated to the respective target systems the active record okay so now this is what the difference when without mdg user will log don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video login into mm01 transaction and you will enter the data and click on save button so then the data directly gets stored into this your active area your mara tables whereas in mdg there is a, 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 a staging area where once the record gets created or someone modifies the record that the record will be stored in your staging area temporarily until all the decisions all the approval steps are completed this record will be in staging area only final the when this activation process get initiated that is the time your inactive record will turn into active record so this is the difference in your with your mdg then what happens if at steward level if he feels that no this record is not required then he can reject that request also from the staging area once he reject that request the record will get deleted from your staging area nothing will move to your active area okay so that means only the finalized records or finalized master data or uh, which is uh, approved and reviewed and approved by all the parties the in video. the workflow okay only those records via activation process will be moved to your underlying active area in the same system okay so that is the major uh, difference that comes along with your uh, uh, mdg it it generates something called staging area and all your uh, working records will be in the staging area and only at the final day uh, at the activation step your changes will be moved to active area okay in between if someone feels that they don't want it to continue with this particular request they can simply reject that request or withdraw that request then the changes will get actually discarded from there itself nothing will move to your active area so whatever the data that will be moved to my active area that we will call it as my golden record is this concept clear to everyone don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself Any with the latest on this video is it possible to you know um, for a rejected record is it possible to reapprove at a point of time uh, okay yeah so good question basically what happens is uh, it all depends on how you configure the workflow in mdg okay so let me uh, show you a typical workflow process here so you have something called requester step we will discuss this in detail in the workflow topic but let me uh, uh, explain it at a very high level okay so this is the requester step there will be some group of requesters will be there who wants to create a master data okay so then once they submit the data it will go to approver okay now at approver level also you will have some group of people maybe some managers or plant managers or someone okay now here requester will submit